and welcome back to part three of Splatoon. Now, something I wanted to say last part that Get I will the be uh, focusing on. Get the Seekers! Nope, I only get the hero shot upgraded and the Dude, e tank. Dude, the seekers are are uh, damn near vital for some in, sections. In my opinion, they are easily the most important thing to get upgraded. Is the ammo, is your pretty much your ammo capacity and your gun. It is going to yeah. make bosses so much easier for you. And if you want to go back later on and then get it, then fine. Also, fuck these levels. I hate, hate. Hate the uh, uh, the, with I, the ink strike. Yeah, that we got. I couldn't remember the name of it. I fucking hate these levels so much. Aren't you just glad they're gone in two? Yeah, I I, I figure they were gone in two because that special was um. Yeah, removed. the special the special was dropped. It basically got replaced by the ten to tech missiles, which I think are miles better. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten some pretty good use out of them. The fact that they lock on. Oh. Yeah, and uh, with. I'm forgetting which perk it is, but you can increase the circle, the lock on circle slightly with it. I think it's like an efficiency boost. I think it's. But you can still only lock on to four people. Yeah, but you get. It gets slightly increased, so, like, it. So, you know, you're. Radius is a bit bigger to lock on. Also, this right here, what I'm doing when I'm, uh, you know, shooting uh, the guys and then going straight back under. Uh, again, like I said earlier, that the uh, single player does teach you strategies that you can use against uh, people online. That is a very, I just bump, very I good just strategy bomb to rush use. Guys. I mean, yeah, that works too, but I'm just saying that if you like to be stealthy, kind of like I do, because usually, thanks to that method, I usually only die at least once or twice during a match now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is, of course, if you're playing, like, normal Splat Zone, uh, I mean, uh, sp Turf War, but, like, other modes, it's, you know, your mild your mileage will vary whether or not it's effective. Oh, yeah, so, uh, favorite ranked uh, mode? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, Rainmaker. Zones, Rainmaker. Rainmaker all the way. I, I don't like Splat Zones. Tower controls, but tower controls um, decent enough, but for me, splat zones, they're too finicky. Um, honestly, uh, what what you call it? Rainmaker reminds me a lot of the unpredictability of um, of Rocket League, and one of the reasons why I fucking love that game is just because one player can literally make the difference in that. Um, because I remember one time uh, a guy dropped the Rainmaker, and I just got it and dashed. And I ended up making our team win. It was awesome. Yeah, Rainmaker is by far my favorite. Splat Zones? Uh, I don't know. There's something about Splat Zones where I'm... It's just King of the Hill. Yeah. Smaller I... it's smaller scale to her four. Yeah, but I don't know. It's... Honestly, though, and I know this sounds weird, but, like, Turf War is still my favorite um, mode. Well, yeah, yeah, it's the main, it's the main Splatoon mode. I just wish, I just like, wish they'd add another mode and fix the goddamn friend lobby, damn it. I mean, they at least made it easier to <laughs> join friends and. Yeah, uh, but if you want to do a private match, you need a full, like a private, like a team. You need a full four-person uh, team. Well, you, it's not like you get any benefits from friend match from friends only matches well no no like if you want to make a friend team like a team uh if through like the friend lobby you need four people otherwise uh have someone queue in and join the friend hoping and that room can, isn't full you can, and you can only do it for league you can't do it for ranked I don't normally play online with friends anyway. You are a lonely during, motherfucker. Um, yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> Once you get... I, um... I, uh, I did it during oh. the catch-up versus Mayo. I, I just got the joke of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was an image I found, like, a while ago. <laughs> it made me laugh. Um... Also, generally, um, I meant to say this too, is that most of the overworlds 
only last about two parts each. Um, which, uh, I, again, I, I did not plan on that happening, but it just did. Um, I think at this point I'm looking for uh, uh, the last level because I forgot that you can do the thing where you just tap it and you can go to it. Uh, the convenient old way of super jumping. That's why you want to just unlock all of them. Again, I, I started doing that after this world. Because I, I think I started talking to you and you said I could do that. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my, okay, at least they're short. Like I'm saying they're not that long. Okay, at least... <laughs> I, I at know, least the I fact know. That the load screens are, <laughs> at least the load screen, the fact that the load screens aren't that long, means those uh, don't last. I, I, I mean, I mean, if if they, if they were like 15 seconds, I would have cut them out. Yeah, it's I, like, like no the fact, like the fact that they're that. short enough. The jokes are short. Okay, I, I like that. Short yeah. and simple. I, I, I know. <laughs> it's just sometimes you just forget what the fuck is gonna yeah. show up. I, I mean, I, I like uh, I, that's where I'll say, okay, fine. At least they're short and simple. Again, like looking uh, at our until dawn playthrough, like the joke, like uh, it was so dull, and when the jokes did show up, they were they oh, overstay their welcome. Oh yeah, if you bonk your head on that, the squid goes. Ee. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Which again, I, I kind of I, I really like just. Simple animations like that. Bring it, nerds! Also, every time I see this purple stuff like that, like on I this I seriously would love to get thing. some subtitles as to what these inklings are saying sometimes. Fuck! Aren't they oh, like. Oh. Aren't their brains like really small or something? No. I mean, we just saw the anatomy. I, I, I mean, they're, they're intelligent enough to have civilization and. You know, <laughs> run stores. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is weird bringing this up three parts in, but one of my favorite sound effects in this game, which I'm so disappointed that they took out for Splatoon 2, was uh, when you drop from a high ledge. Excuse me, when you drop from a high ledge into a uh, an ink pool. Oh yeah, that you have a dip. Yeah, I, I really like that sound effect, and then they just took it out. Also, I, I hate this one so much because I get so nervous. Dude, just on get these. on it and just get on the just ink a patch and you jump on it. Like you don't have to fall. Just I, get on like ink a bit and when the roller's coming onto the platform, you jump. Yeah, but Ratchet and Clank the same. I'm used to being able to just jump no problem. On this one, the jumping is bits, bit stiff. Less stiff, I'd say short. I mean, you you just have a short hop. That's because that's because this is a shooter game and not so it's Ratchet and Clank and it has and it has great platforms. Well, that's sections. more of an action. Ratchet and Clank was made to be a 3D platformer. Yeah, it's a 3D platformer with shooting mechanics. Yeah, this is a shooting. This is a shooter. And so there's a like platformer with shooting versus shooter with platforming. And yes, I know about the balloon that was down there. I did see it. I just didn't want to go after it. <laughs> I really Hope like this thing. I not. really like this thing. I do too. You are that for, for me. It's media. that guitar. Um, for me, I'm kind of like it's just an okay track. It's not my personal favorite. Like I, I really like the one that you said was really weird. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just because when I was playing this uh, this game when I was wearing headphones and stuff. Because um, the way when when I play, when I was playing games and stuff... Shoot the damn balloon! Um, how I have... It kills all of them! I couldn't yeah. get to it yet. Balloon! I said, balloon! I if I do, if I do or not. The balloon kills them all! You're not even getting the most value out of it anymore. <laughs> you killed them all without it. Oh, now you blow up the balloon. Because <laughs> I'm not a scrub. You're a scrub for killing all of them rather than going for the one hit. <laughs> now the balloon is just the... <laughs> the balloon is the, is the convenient way. Appar <laughs> Apparently, Jed yeah, doesn't do convenient. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to play near, damn it, just to see what the fuck that is.
Oh, yeah, I forgot you do unlock different types of bombs, but I don't ever change them. Seekers, man! Just unlock them! You don't need to power them up, just unlock them! That trail of ink is one of the most useful things in the game! I don't know, I tend to just shoot really high and then let this ink just fall down and I'll make a path that way. You, you pop it's a seeker, you just, uh, point. you follow through that trail and that'll lead you for a sneak attack. Seriously, it's one of the best, uh, items in the game. What? <laughs> Again, he's the anime guy. I, I, I like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> And I'm just questioning it because I haven't got, I haven't gotten to that point in uh, Stardust Crusaders yet. It's pretty it's pretty early on. Th there's a reason why that pig is in a toilet. I still need to fucking watch JoJo. <laughs> a reason to why a pig was in the toilet. I can't wait to hear this one. <laughs> Honestly, out of you know JoJo memes are usually shit, but out of context JoJo memes are my personal favorite. Oh, by the way, the Octolings have fucking stupid AI. They're better, uh, um, uh, Yeah, they, they bumped like, it up into- holy shit, they're, they're fucking, they're actually, um... There's only one Octoling in this entire game that I find, like, actually challenging, and at that point, I really did just say, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Uh, the Octoling missions in Splatoon 2, like, they are actual credible threats, like, holy shit, they're good. Special ready. That. Which I don't, I don't think I ever use against these guys because again they're just so stupid. I can just shoot them faster. Like the only times these guys are annoying is whenever they throw different enemy types in, uh, like the ink could, strikers. Could just say gals because we've only ever gotten female octo links. Yeah, that's right. Mm. I mean we've gotten the octarians, mm. but. Octolings are diff are classified as different. Well, yeah, they're different. Also, they're just, also, they're just I allied. really, I, also, I really fucking hate um what the, the whenever you um whenever you're, I'm doing these like turf war types of um missions because this, this the hidden scroll the second scrolls are always just a bitch. Because it's a more open map, yeah. Yeah, open level. Oh, I actually did use it. Also, just because you get in, like, enemies' ink, it doesn't kill you. It just makes no, you slower. It, I mean, it yeah, does if kill you. Take, you. I, I know. Are you it sure? Damage, it, I've stood it, in it's a, a damage I, over time. I've, it damages you over time, and it does kill you. Hmm. I don't think it's there, too, because I've stood in it so long, It just testing in the hub, and I never died. I did it in online sometimes, and I've never in, died. In online, me. it does kill you. It just takes longer... They, 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 well, they, it, they, takes, um, it takes so long that you're only ever going to die to a well, weapon. Well, no, the thing is, um, in this game, they play up the fact the damaging aspect of it. In Splatoon 2, they play up more the slowing, the in, the inhibiting aspect of it, the fact that it slows you down. And boss time. Uh, I forget what was the boss. There, there was something I was wanting to bring up because one of the uh, bosses. This is the. Uh, this is, is the one with um. What, which one was it? Octo nozzle. We'll see in a oh, moment. Oh, this is the one with the um. It's this a tower. One with SpongeBob, it's right? It's a tower. <laughs> it's a. T it's um, this tower guy. This, this one I think should have been at least the the third boss because honestly, the the bosses like. I forget what order it is, but like one of the bosses, I want to say it's this one should have been the third one because the the one after this is so freaking ridiculously easy. Because this one actually puts up a bit of a challenge. This is the you do easiest need to be one. Stealthy a bit. Like this is the easiest one. Say so what me. now? Just shoot the fuck me light. Well, yeah, but I say that it's because you also need to be a bit stealthy. I'd say. Because later on, when you have to keep taking out more and more, just be um, not really stealthy. I for you just uh, 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 need to uh, just bob and weave. This is the easiest mm -hmm. one, in my opinion. I say it's the a, easiest it's one the fact is that he has straight line attacks. I I think the one I I would say the easiest one for me is the one with the teeth. 
Because, like, right here is when I'm going to start, like, being a bit more strategic because I'm trying to uh, make a path. This is why you get the Seekers. You move, uh, like, you just pop a Seeker, you go... I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> like, th this is where you'd pop a Seeker where, uh, yeah, like that. Uh, basically, you move, uh... I don't know why that made me laugh. Like, uh, basically, with the Seeker uh, bombs, you would essentially, uh, you'd have a trail where you'd immediately just get around him uh, faster than he could turn. And pretty much just like every Nintendo boss, you hit them three times and they're done. Rule of three. Um, actually, uh, something I wanted to ask, just because that animation reminded me a bit of Super Mario Galaxy. Wasn't the Splatoon team the same one who did Galaxy? Yeah, EDA. Okay. You know, if you had the Seeker, you'd basically be able to, uh, get behind him easy. I don't fucking need it. <laughs> <laughs> I only get one game over in this entire session. Not a matter of need it. Use it. <laughs> you're you're dragging this just, out for much longer than it needs to be. The seeker breaks this boss. He doesn't need your seeker pleb shit. See, look at that. He did it relatively easy. And I didn't get, and I didn't die. Not a matter of dying, you took longer than you needed to. Eh, didn't, dra didn't drag out that log. At least I was actively making progress. Kaboom. That's something I always like, is whenever uh, this Where happens, it the, the entire arena is just the... Where it huh? inks the camera and then the entire screen. No, I, I was I was more talking about the entire. Oh yeah, area yeah, where it just me. covers the uh, entire arena in your ink, yeah. Ah, uh, the blood of enemies. Hi, dastardly. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, on Twitter, because that's how I got that image. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna pretty much be the end of World Two. Also, I, I meant to I meant to say this earlier, but when you do be the boss, you unlock a um, weapon that you can upgrade. You can unlock for multiplayer. Yeah. They're relatively useful. Honestly, honestly, for me, I usually just stick with the uh, Arrow MG uh, air spray for Splatoon 2. Uh, that was always one of the best weapons. Arrow spray. Uh, everyone uses the goddamn arrow spray. Team Roller and Dooley's for the win. <laughs> All right, and that's Blue Show Medic. I, I love the goddamn <laughs> Roller. I can never use it, but anyway, we will see you guys in part four.